There is a dizzying variety of films nominated for this year's outstanding British film, from a costume drama to an epic musical, a psychopathic comedy and a dramedy set in India to our very own Mr Bond. Anna Karenina is the tragic tale of a woman torn between her husband and a dashing cavalry officer under the watchful eye of St Petersburg society. Director Joe Wright set Tom Stoppard's adaptation almost entirely in a dilapidated theatre. If you have any thought for me, you will give me back my peace. I have no peace to give. There can be no peace for us. Only misery, my greatest happiness. Your husband is impossible. His opinions are all wrong, but he talks so brilliantly, he wins every argument. <laughs> Les Miserables is another sweeping epic nominated in this category. 36 films have been made of Victor Hugo's story, but this is the first musical screen adaptation of his novel. My name is Marius Pontmercy. And mine's Cosette. Cosette. I don't know what to say. Then make no sound. I am lost. From musical tragedy to black comedy in Seven Psychopaths. Colin Farrell plays a writer struggling with his screenplay whilst unwittingly on the run from a dog-loving crime lord. Now, now don't get mad. What the hell did you do? I set the car on fire. Well, how the hell are we supposed to get home? We're in the middle of the desert, Billy. Yeah, that's the least of our worries. Skyfall is only the second James Bond film to be nominated for Outstanding British Film. In the latest instalment, Bond battles a disgruntled former MI6 agent bent on revenge. You made such a bold entrance into a little drama. Did I overcomplicate the plot? Who doesn't appreciate the occasional twists, Mr... Bond. James Bond. Skyfall is one of two films in this category to star Judi Dench. The other is the best exotic Marigold Hotel, which follows a group of pensioners who move to India in search of a new life in their twilight years. Good Lord! What? Listen. And now... No drip! <laughs> no drip! High five. No, sorry, I don't know why I did that. I've never done it before in my life. So, there you have it. Think you know who's going to win? Well, try your luck with our Predict the Winners app on the BAFTA Facebook page. You can join in the conversation on Twitter, then come back to BAFTA.org and our YouTube channel on February the 10th as the winners are revealed and I will bring you exclusive access to the biggest night in film.